the wires off. So this is bad. Oh, he went towards the motor. I didn't say grab his fin. Shit, go for Please stop, please stop. Absolutely nailed the weather again, spot on. Nothing like a nice gentle 30 knot northeaster on Western Port North Arm, smashing out in an open tinny. Especially when you're launching something like five knots, and you get out here and it just goes bang! Just to make your day worthwhile. We're targeting snapper and bronze whaler sharks. We have special rigs on. The rig should not compromise temp both there and keep both hooked on. Bloody bronze whaler. And we've just pulled the wires off. Why is there no mic? No, don't worry about it. That's using it on board. Mm. Probably an how do you know it's not an eagle ray? It's a bronze whaler. Can you get it off that other braid? It's gonna damage it. Well, there's no point fishing, there's going to be no snapper. I'm going Eagle Ray. No. I'm you. It's a bloody bronze whale. I'm telling you, straight up. I either get it or we get bitten off. That's, I'm telling you, that's what happened tonight, right? Okay, stick with us. Is that Dave? Yep. Shark, mate. Now. As you saw, I've been running these special wire traces. Just for this special moment, my dream is to be bronzy. They've guilted me out, guilted me out of it, and maybe they've oh, I didn't have to try very hard. Not easy if the anchor wasn't down. Big fish. I think we have to pull the anchor up, Dave, because I'm not going to lift him up. Because of the current. Oh, I need to wind. Still pretty deep. Doing somewhere. another circle. Shit. I reckon he's on it again. Shit. Why well, is Hinker Reef going under the boat anyway? I think it might be on it. Oh. Uh, what are you doing? I'm going to go because we can't go in the front. I can't get a big rod from the wheel, I can't. Shit. I had to get around that anchor and shit. Watch out that. You know what we should do next time? What? Bring those fenders that are in your car, just dump the rope. Yeah, I've been thinking about that too. Am I letting the. 
light off the spool before. I gave him free rein just to swim back in the current. It's a serious fish. And lifting him in the current is going to be hard. Now about this one. Does it again and again. Maybe we've got to really chase this fish. Nothing we can do. He's on that rope, I reckon, because it's come back this way. How did he on that rope? I don't know. The, oh, unless it's just the wind blowing us up on it. First with ball down. That's the way he went. Can we pull the anchor up? Yeah, we can. Okay, we'll just pull the anchor. Oh, this is bad. Oh, we wouldn't have that wire on right now, Dave. Who's to say? Yeah, anyway. No, I'm not, I'm not having a go. Might not have worked anyway. Now? Yeah. It's a big one. Really big. This is U Fish TV broadcasting out of Westernport, which is a, a large estuary just 70k southeast of Melbourne in Victoria, Australia. It's after midnight, it's a weeknight, it's the week before Christmas, and myself and Dutt and Dave, my good mate, we're out in a little aluminium dinghy called Tilly, sitting on deck chairs in the windy cold night, trying to catch a very special fish called a snapper, a red snapper. We are mad for them. Now most of Melbourne is mad for them, all the fishing here, all the fishermen here love them. And Melbourne's famous for snapper. And most of the snapper we catch is sort of October, November and into December. And it's usually all over by middle of December for most people. That's about when, when Dave and I start looking. And we found a little, little spot that we love to fish. And we fish it um, in the hours uh, of blackness in the hope that we're going to catch in the hope that we're going to catch giants and apparently we've got a bite on rod too this is a good fish all right folks you fish tv is coming at you and we're going to come at you more regular than we've ever come at you before and we've got this new thing we're going to do no matter what happens we're going to bring you fish or no fish. But we're going to bring you our story as real as it is weekly. Highs and lows. I think it might have that on it. We're going to start right now in Tilly in Western Port. Blowing hard at night. Tell you what, this is a good fish. On that other line, I'm Is it? Yeah. Alright, mate. 
we've been thinking about how we're going to do this because we have such high standards in fishing that we don't share a lot of what we do. We fish privately, but we know the need to make our channel thrive is to be regular. And we do so many exciting things that never eventuate in big results. So the new thing is, it's got some weight, isn't it? Yeah. Is it tangled? Yeah. I can't get it out. I'm just gonna have to hope it. So Dave's trying to wind in two rods, aren't you? Fairly blowing out here. Woo -hoo. Whoa! I'm cameraman and netting. Going down here. Oh, he went towards the motor. Got him. Woo! Got him! Normally I'd do that, netting myself, but if you have a look there, those two ones are tangled. Badly. And that's Oh, you get to talk about a trace too. Yep. So I got it pinned. Uh, that was, I was never getting that off. Look how badly it's tangled. Yeah. Got him in the net, mate. Thanks, mate. Fish in Melbourne style. We're mad bastards. We're out in the cold tonight wearing shorts. <laughs> I don't even have a jump, I'm sh literally shivering. And it's midnight on a work night. We come out into a port called Western Port, and we're sitting there thinking, what are we gonna do with YouTube? We're so bored with just everything, everything perfect, and everything's gotta be the biggest. We love big, but I can't even lift it in, but in the boat, Dave. Oh, good fish. Oh, it's huge. Oh, it's a big fish. That is a good fish. I actually didn't realize it was that big. Oh, wow. It's actually really big. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how we're talking up dreams of what we need to happen, don't we? We need big fish, we say. We need big fish. And there it, there it is. Wow. Process the fish. Look at that fish, everyone. Oh, <laughs> that's a good, good knobby male. Um, you can see the five O gammas pin there. They're actually both pinned, which is awesome. One in the corner, and that one in there. That's why we use these fine gauge hooks, because they'll pin them in the face like that. That's your normal rig that we use, right? Up to about here, where we go to a steel trace. Now you get a lot of big bronze whalers come through here this time of year, chasing these guys. And the idea here is, it's, look, it's not always gonna happen, it's not always gonna work, but quite often we get our traces back bitten about this far up so from the sharks. Where, that's where they're, they're hooking them gut deep and they're biting up here. So we're kind of hedging our bets. We want the mono to catch the snapper, but we want the steel for the shark. So you know, if we hook a bronzy and he's taking it down deep, we still should have some bite protection up here and give us a bit of a chance. All right, let's get him up, get those out, and I'll get a photo for you, mate. It's like a seven and a half kilo fish. Yeah, at least. <laughs> it's actually big. He's a good looking fish, too. Isn't yes, he? it is Why? a big fish. Torch in the way. Yeah, so turn his tail in. Let's have a look at that tail in front of the camera. Bring, swing that tail around. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tilly, you beautiful girl. <laughs> You're she's unpursed. A, she's a fish catcher now. She's catching fish. Do a big head shake. Do a big head throws. How quick did that take off? Oh yeah. We both just about got their phone. Man, that was howling. I had to go out and grab the camera because Gobel's got no idea where it was, how it's set up, how it turns on, where the light is, where the cat microphone is. So I said, hold my rod. We're not competition fishing. This is not tournament fishing. It's not line class fishing. It's mate fishing. So sometimes we've got to help each other out. 
Ooh. I just want to see it before anything goes wrong. Ooh. Come over, sit closer. Let's go on ahead of the boat. Don't do that to me. It's okay. Just out there, goats. Big bronzy. I don't get the footage of that. Alright, so look him up. What now, what all I wanted to do, do was get a photo, I don't know. Down yeah, circles, that's not good. Right. We had a gaffy been the bloody boat by now, I tell ya. Sat there for ages while we tied that knot. Go crazy. Right, give me the camera. Easy to wind this handle, you ready? Set, now, circles. What, what was going to the boat? Let go, let go. Right. I don't know how we're staying connected, to be honest. It's just all mono. There he is. Grab him and just have his tail. You just gotta grab his, have to grab his tail wrist and just put it over, mate. No! I didn't say grab his fin. Fuck! Shit, Coco! That's what gonna upset him. Alright. Try again. Luckily, no water on the land somehow. Only a little bit. That's all the spray from when you came off the reel before. Ah, oh, bit me off. Well, that was pretty epic anyway. Oh. Right. You had your shot, Gopes. You had your shot, old boy. But that's how far up he had me bit. That's how much that fluorocarbon lasted that battle. What, good 10, 15 minutes, three foot down his throat. We'd had a gaff. We don't, we don't keep gaffs in Westerbork because there's never nothing we want to gaff. And I wouldn't have gaffed him to hurt him, I would have just put him in the lip and... Oh, I'll have a rest, clean the camera up and... Uh, in the meantime, let's keep, let's keep things rolling and actually go look at some, some people who are actually getting results. Some actually high achievers in fishing who are actually doing things of note. So we're off Warrnambool at the moment. And if you can see that, the ripples in the water, massive school of tuna. Oh, just see the bust ups. Um, and we're hopefully going to get a few. We're just trialing now. Just see if we can't get a few. We're only in like 14 metres of water too. So now they've gone down and hopefully, hopefully they run into our lures out the back. Oh, yep, we're on, we're on. Your dad's film. This rod doesn't have much line. Please stop, please stop. Fish, I've hooked up. Took like 100 metres of line. 
and we'll unlock the last rolls. Look at that school over there. Hopefully we can get him up. And get all our line back. Jeez, it took off. It took a lot of line. Oh. We will unlock the last two rolls of mono. Just keep him tight. He's got pressure on him. Jeez, he's fighting weird as those head shakes are massive. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. oh my god! Come on, stop! Oh, this fish! What are you doing? Oh my god, the whole rod was in the water then. The fish nearly got me on the boat. I can't believe that. This fish is going off its head. Just fighting so weird. Coming right at me, then running away. The, the, the spool is actually warm. It's hot. There he is again. Solid fish. Probably 18 to 20 kilos, I reckon. There must be something down there giving him the shits. Down he goes again. Doing a pinwheel. Please don't do anything dumb this time. Jeez, he's a tank. Strong little skirts. Do the damage. So here's my big, big summer bluefin tuna. Don't know if you can see it all over, but it's all right. It's, it's pretty well lit up. Solid fish, fought hard as, what do you reckon, 25? Easily. Probably 25, we'll weigh him later. Yeah, well, let's go get a king now. We've got our tuna, we caught, caught two in under like five minutes. And uh, yeah, good stuff. School's everywhere, They're the size of footy fields. We didn't hook up that time. Oh, fish was on the skirt. Like a marlin, mate. Oh, yep, yep, yep. All right, you got to get on that one, Dad. Before it spools you up. Oh, geez, that was interesting. I knew these fish would move west after that westerly blow. Yeah, in the warm water. We had a big westerly blow last week. And the water temp, the water temp around Julia Percy dropped by two degrees. And the better water sort of this, this end sort of caught very warnable way. And the fish are here in good numbers. Are you all good? Yeah. What do you want me to do? Is this up and down now? Yep. Alright. I can see. Yep. You want to... Oh yeah, he's still pretty deep. What do you want me to do? That one's good. Okay. Could probably go for another run, I reckon. I can see him down there. Yep. Bright colour. He's a solid one too, mate. You all good? Yep. Gee, this fish has been a lot nicer to you than my one. Yeah, nice fish, so. Solid fish. Oh! Well done, Martin. Yeah, nowhere near your size. Yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah, you get a good fit film of that. Touch the leader, so he's out. We caught him. We'll just grab that lure and we'll um, cut just him cut off. off.
<laughs> oh, I couldn't hold on for that long. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. I couldn't hold on for that long, especially one-handed. That's alright. <laughs> still got a lot of, still got a lot of energy in him. <laughs> we should have had those pliers closer to us. Yeah, well, you, you know where they are now. I'll just grab the trace again. Yeah, that's all we want. I've got leader. I've got him, come on. Can you put the... <laughs> go! Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Right. Awesome. Really good. Hometown of Warnable. Any amount of tuna, really. And, um, I'm nice to it. Ufish TV is proudly brought to you by fighttackle.com.au, Gamakatsu Hooks by Frogleys Offshore, Tonic Polarised Eyewear, Mercury Marine Australia, and Immersion Apparel.